Either he read too much of the news, or just had some extra wine in his meal. But Sirioja's grandfather came in his dreams with an appeal. He went uh, through the Second World War, and he sat on the chip kitchen chair, blocking the view to the garden and saying, I have some request with you, Serioja, to share. Could it be so, my dear beloved grandkid, that you never ever write on me on your Facebook page, as you formerly did, just without any context, and please, neither with that or without that, could you please just stop doing so? asked Serioja's granddad. Please, no more victories with my name on, and please, no fights at all. These would make me sad. And besides, he continues, I would be only glad if you abstain from bringing me to your regiment, please, and he makes a big gesture with his hand. I do not need whatever parade or regiment, not a mortal one, nor immortal, Serioja, please, just let me remain in peace. I deserve it, Serioja, to rest in peace. Yes, I know you're smart, you're liberal, you can work as hard as a digitizer, and we're not you who chose all this, but it was not my choice either. We had a long life. It was just one long line, and it was quite hard. It is somehow possible that we're not used anymore as just pictures for your parade. We're already gone. And in the earth, we've found our match. Is it somehow possible that you start building your own life from scratch? We don't need your pride, and neither your hidden shame. May I ask you, Serioja, that I'm not recycled in vain? But then says Serioja, I'm also forced to forget that we went in the Russian museum for Avazovsky's storm, and then I was sick, and you woke me up to get me redressed in my bed, and then we read Prishvin on nature, and then tried to find poles on the map, and then forget as well um, why there are white stripes from planes in the sky, and that magnifying glass you gave me, my dear. Never mind says Grandad, already fading away. All I did still did not help you to hear.